Hello, hello, I'm back and look at the Enderman convention. Do I have a too high area here? No, that's three. So, well, Mr. Enderman, time for you to die. Like don't teleport. Wow. Usually, if you're not uh, secluded like this, they tend to uh, teleport away from uh, the magic balls. But now they just, uh, well, apparently smell blood and just want to kill me, which they can't, and they should know that that they can't reach me. So I don't think the mob should be all that smart. Because then they will win because there's <laughs> plenty more of them than there are of us or me. Alrighty. And this is some sort of segregation. Hey, where did you come from? Stop running through my sword. But he has nowhere to come from. Unless he spawns outside or something. He hit me. The nerve. Hello, another Enderman. Would you like it if I did this? Yeah, sometimes it just takes a while. And now he's gone, but... I don't know where. At least I have enough bookshelves here. Maybe there's even an enchanting area, so I don't have to go back to my base. That skeleton. I didn't do that. Yes, there is an enchanting area, with the bookcases way too far away. <laughs> or are they? I think so. Um, something to enchant here. No! <laughs> That's a really long range. And another one. Don't be harassing me. But I saw it was only maximum 5, so yeah. <laughs> the guy who built this, the well, you know, should have just put it right there. But at least there's light outside and lots of windows, so that makes it all much easier. Of course, that's something you should never say. <laughs> Hubris is uh, some old Greek term for upsetting the gods by pretending that, well, they can't hurt you or you are so good that you will win anyway. And that will just tempt them to show you that, oh, you thought you could win this, right? Well, you didn't count on, and then Nemesis comes along. And Nemesis is then the s destructor. And, or, well, the giver of stuff you deserve. Which, if you are using hub hubris, then you deserve a, a fall from grace, pretty much. Or not grace, because if you are graceful, you wouldn't be uh, using hubris. But well, they'll forget about that. Just remember that. Uh, hey, sticky grenade. I haven't seen that before. That if you want to do something well, it pays off usually to not pretend that you are the one that doing all that. It's usually better to 
just make your best effort and then uh, be confident uh, in that you wouldn't or couldn't have done better than you did. And sometimes that includes failing because for lots and lots of stuff where you will to want to become an expert or anything well then it takes failing to actually be able to learn and if you don't fail then well you might well so let's say you want to be an author or something a writer and uh, well if you just wait and wait and tinker and tinker until you've gotten the perfect book then you will never finish because part of that creation is writing a substandard book so you get the experience of having written the substandard book and that is uh, necessary probably well maybe not in this case but probably necessary to be able to actually write the really good book that you set out to do well level 3 is fine yes. yeah and I don't need those runes but to get all the dice that's uh, somewhat annoying because well mostly flowers and you know you have to actually pick those flowers even though there is a sigil I think that does it for you but I haven't used that yet so I'm not sure and I guess this uh, area is cleared yeah those are uh, not good no. so uh, I'll uh, go back to my base again load off and uh, check this uh, floor again to see if I haven't missed anything and I'll be back once I go upstairs again alrighty and we're going upstairs again and I already had an invasion of Hecate's like 10 or something that uh, came from this level so I'm not sure if there are any left still gonna do it pretty slowly mana creeper there Yes, hit, hit, hit. Okay, he's down. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, light up the place. And goes upstairs there. Well, let's just give it a little bit of a light. Oh. Whoa, leggy McLexhorst. Yeah, that's probably why. Oh, skeleton banners. Oh no, these aren't skeletons. These are those uh, mana creep. No, mana... Looters, hoarders, whatever. What's this? Something we don't know. <laughs> Has no tooltip. I think it's a shield. Yeah, probably a shield. Oh well. No. It's built by a guy. It's not built by an entire company, of course. So, some uh, open spaces and tooltip delays and uh, stuff that isn't implemented yet yeah well it's pretty great as it is already would be interesting if the gear would actually uh, get experience just to see what it would do because apparently that's not implemented yet so it doesn't do anything yet but I'm curious as to what the purpose of it would be because it's already enchanted so, what kind of extra things would you get? Maybe um, some certain spells that get uh, an extra bonus for using the full mage armor or battle mage, because the normal mage armor is like leather armor and well, that just does not cut it at all. And I think this level is close to finished. Uh, 
Oh, you stood inside the zombie. That's sneaky. Why do they turn the lights off? Oh. Yeah, and baby zombies don't give experience. It's totally unfair, because they're at least as difficult as the grown-up ones, and probably more so. The grown-up zombies. <laughs> I guess, I mean, in the other words, uh, when they were a kid and then got zombified. Oh, I got him! What, where is he now? I don't see him. I don't have the true sight on me. Yeah, I hit something. See experience there? Good sign. Well, so far it hasn't been that difficult as I expected it would to uh, be. So that's a uh, small favor, I guess. Might have something to do with me going pretty slow and very careful. You continuously hear those Hecates, but... Well, they could be a level above you, or they could just be behind you, you know? <laughs> That's a bit of uh, the issue with these guys. Okay, run. If I recall correctly, these Hecates actually um, pick up your gear if you die. So, well, that might be a really bad thing if you get a Hecate who's invisible with a sharpness 3 sword and diamond gear, or well, battle mage armor in this case. I guess that would be a total uh, end of me. Even though this could also be. No. Well, so far so good. Loads of the castle is already uh, explored. Oh. And I got quite a few uh, loot out of it, quite some loot. Including something I haven't seen before, so... Well... Good choice to go here. And I've got another one to go to. I probably won't do the other one on camera, but, well, just hadn't seen this anywhere on YouTube, so I thought, uh, let's go for it, and just do most of the thing, in, well, of course not the running back to uh, get torches and stuff like that, but. Yeah, those Naga temples are way more difficult. Just for, because they all stack up in a a group of 10 or something and then all come at the same time and these Hecates maybe are doing the same thing but they don't have as much armor uh, as those uh, Naga and they don't have a healer among them there so well if you kill one then there's actually one less and if you just hit those Naga and they get healed up again it just takes forever and if it takes forever while you're being surrounded and pounded upon by people in diamond gear, well, then forever might just not be so long. <laughs> oh. Nice. And are we done? Not yet. I hear more. Oh, arcane ash is nice. Of course you can make that, but, well, if you just find it, it's better. And yes, I don't need any letter. It's just a force of habit that you loot everything. And then, well, if you just then have to build another chest for your excess letter, well, then you build another chest for your excess letter. Or, in this case, I might throw it in uh, my moat. 
protection 3 and fire protection glass protection protection and fire protection yeah that that's nice from the gear you find in chests they can have all three or maybe even all four I'm not sure about that don't know if I've seen something with all four protections you know like blast projectile normal and fire I guess if you can do three then it probably also can do four and that's something I don't know if you have fire protection and you have normal protection is that then uh, an extra reduction or is it does it take the one with the highest protection so in the case of uh, specifics over general normal protection does less uh, reduction than the specific so for fire protection fire protection is much better than normal protection as with blast and missile and stuff but I'm not sure if you have both if they then just both count so if you have uh, a full set with uh, all protections that you get just no damage anymore I don't know about that but it seems that this area is almost clear so I'll uh, run around again to check it out <coughs> and then uh, I'll be back once I've uh, dropped off my gear again and uh, well probably made yet and again more torches so later alrighty and I'm back I just uh, <coughs> went down there and got rid of my stuff in my uh, chest and well now we're pretty much at the highest level um, are we? oh no goes higher well fine Probably one more. Yeah. Oh, but now I'm in the corner of this thing. So. Wait, haven't I been here? Is this this too, too high up, probably? Yeah, so we're now at the courtyard to the final thing. But I guess I'll do the four corners first and then uh, do the last part. Well, last. And I'm definitely going to put all my gear away before the last part. Because you never know. Sometimes they come up with a mob that is just insanely lucky or powerful. Or well, has some immunities that I can't deal with. You never know. But so far I would, this has been a profit and well it's also given me an entire castle to play around with and I won't be using it because I have seen in uh, generic B's uh, video of Hexit that some structure that he conquered then got uh, overwritten by a battle tower and now I don't have battle tower uh, activated in this uh, uh, Ars Magica part but I don't know. I don't want world gen to just destroy everything you've put away or anything. So uh, I'll just build my own stuff. And it won't be this big or well, it could be. I guess I can just continue building. I can't even see my place from here. But yeah, I'm not much into uh, building because I kind of prefer to just run around and see stuff that well the world has built and then uh, well try to deal with whatever is out there. So I guess that's my thing. So you can see it, but uh, it's kind of small. Okay, but uh, this is uh, tower number two of the four. Probably nothing here either. Oh, this one goes upstairs at least. Yeah, I was in that one. Oh, we're at cloud level. Nice. Harvest the clouds! Come on! No, you know you want to! <laughs> no cloud in a bottle here, I guess. I thought there were four corners. It's. Well, I guess those don't count for this level. Um, so we're pretty much ready to go in and, and attack the final part. And 
Well, this went way faster than I expected. Of course, it helps if you don't have to run back and uh, kill mobs one by one just to get your gear back. But, well... Yeah, I guess this is the end. I don't hear any hackathons. No, there's something there. We can still do that one. See a chest. Yeah, and dig is by far my favorite spell. It's just... If it could also uh, do obsidian, that would be so nice. Because, uh, you know, the stuff that you do with uh, efficiency 5 and then a, a haste portal or a... Uh, how do you call it? You know, when you kill the, the wither skeletons and you get uh, a beacon. Well, that goes fast, you know, really fast. But if you have none of that and you just use, a, well, 2 to 5 mana... A dig it goes almost as fast but you don't need anything it's just well better well not better perhaps because the real 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 high fast uh, mining from fishing 5 plus a beacon is pretty good but well you can just use uh, Summoning the Earth Guardian to uh, blow up stuff, and that goes probably even faster. Even though you will also blow up stuff that you would like to have mined. Oh. Yep. Don't put dick on when you need to shoot. Okay, light it up first so no creepers spawn in and destroy stuff. No, modern art. <laughs> well, we'll go up there later. I guess that will do. Meh. Well. Oh yeah, I hear you. And in close quarters, the sword is probably better still. If they wouldn't make a sound, they would be even worse. <laughs> I don't see any particles or something. And another shield. Well, I guess I'll take it. This is probably that letter we saw, or I saw. And normal stairs up, that's fine. Another letter. Yeah, I hear more than one, I think. Well, nothing to do but to go up. Oh, who are you? You look like a fire moth. Yes, trap me, will you? Not today. So, no more invisible guys. 
Oh, I killed something I hadn't killed before. That's interesting. It's probably a fire mob or something. Oh, I did kill those before, by the way. They live in the nether. But that was before the patch change here, so didn't take into account. Uh, Yeah. Yeah, I probably should try to figure out the using the, the keyboards more for selecting what uh, item to use. So that's way faster. Even though the scroll wheel is just much relaxed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have 30 levels, but I think I'll finish it up first. And another revolver. Here. Nice. And I still don't like taking gold gear because. You'll just get your hopes up and then it will break soon. Um, let's see. More torches. Yeah, I can make some more. I will. So I'll be uh, right back. And onward. Yeah, just for the sake of it, I'll take the revolver. This isn't totally upstairs, is it? Oh no. Well, time for the truth. Is there some sort of really nasty mob up here? No. Wait, there's gotta be a boss around here somewhere. Don't tell me that that fire dude was the boss. And for people with uh, literary uh, way of jokes, sure, we won't tell you. You'll just wander around here and not know, because it is the final boss. But yeah, you told us you didn't want us to tell you. That's the kind of uh, humor my uh, family really likes, or well, my dad and my brother and me. It's a bit uh, taking things literal when you know it's not meant literal, and then making sure you burn somebody with it and yeah I guess this is it um, well lots of good loot but no boss maybe it's in the basement but I don't think so because below the ground floor was uh, just normal stone and stuff and not things like this so I'll uh, do a run around and if I missed anything I'll record that later no, there was nothing else, at least nothing that I could find, and I pretty thoroughly searched everything. So, well, there was this castle, and there's my base, and the other castle is around there, but we're too high up, so there's a sort of fog everywhere. And I have no ender pearl, so I'll have to uh, run down and uh, I'll go there, empty stuff, and, well, I guess I'll enchant something, but... Oh, that's nice. I could combine these two. And then a sharpness. Maybe I'll just do a sword for 30. And if it gets sharpness 4 and I'm breaking, then fire aspect 2 and knockback 1. Would be an interesting sword. So uh, I'll go back to my actual base and, uh, well, consider this castle conquered in the name of all that is me. So uh, later, and I'll be in my base. Alrighty then, let's see if this works. I don't think you can get sharpness 5 by just enchanting it. That would be very nice. Smite 4. No. We don't want that at all. Well, so much for that. Let's check out the arcane compendium. Yeah, it was a fire elemental, this guy. Are only found in the nether. Yeah, so probably that 
did count as the boss of that uh, place because well the overworld is definitely not the nether and hey sleep heal slow falls with yeah these are things i've uh, unlocked in the oculus but haven't actually done something with and haste will probably be my next one because that's just something you will want to cast all the time oh yeah and the earth armor the thing i found it adds damage and knockback to unarmed strikes funny but it's still just plus four and a diamond sword without enchants is plus seven so maybe there's some other uh, thing that also gives uh, unarmed damage that would be funny interesting even and well these uh, are all not so relevant at the moment so too bad about the smite four swords even though I think the Hecates actually might be undead so smite might have actually been the proper thing to use but oh well at least I've got some backup swords so that was one castle and I'll probably do the other one uh, uh, off camera and uh, for the next episode I'll probably start uh, actually building that castle over there because well I haven't built anything yet well, except for a bit of surroundings and some structures and such but not actually a building so that will be probably be my next target you know nobody can tell because the future is unknown except if you have the good seer stone later